The Meta Quest 3 versus the Pimax Crystal Lite. What are the differences and which one is best for you? Let's dive right into it. The Quest 3 and the Crystal Lite are both very different headsets because where Meta is focused on standalone VR gaming at a low cost while also giving you the possibility to use mixed reality, the Pimax Crystal Lite is a PC VR headset instead that tries to push the graphics and quality of the VR games it runs to the absolute next level. So to truly understand the differences between them, let's start this comparison by talking about the hardware, with the first obvious difference being the size, because the Crystal Light is a lot bigger and heavier compared to the Quest 3. But this has its pros and cons, since the bigger size makes it possible for the headset to have a much larger field of view. This means that your eyes will perceive the screen at a bigger scale when inside VR, but it also means that the headset is quite a lot more front heavy to your face. Luckily, this can be adjusted quite a bit by using the head strap properly, which is also directly the second big difference between them. Because where the Quest 3 is rocking a soft material double band, the Crystal Light has a hollow strap design. And while you can still adjust the Quest 3 strap to distribute the weight more evenly over the back of your head, you will probably still feel its pull after a while of using it. Whereas the Crystal Light head strap does compensate a lot for the extra weight, thanks to the more advanced head strap, but it will also still feel heavy if you use it a lot for standing experiences, making the comfort not outstanding and pretty much equal for both headsets. But the next big difference right out of the box is when we look at the controllers. Here, the Quest 3 uses the Touch Plus controllers that have a ringless design and they also feel great in the hand from its grip and trigger buttons to its overall haptic feedback. And while the Pimax Crystal Lite does still have a ring design to it, they also still feel premium while holding them. But a cool extra is that these controllers are rechargeable, while the one of Quest 3 comes with two AA batteries included in it. And although it is possible to upgrade them to rechargeable batteries as well, this is probably not worth it for most cases. But maybe even more important is when we look at the tracking of them because the Quest 3 absolutely knocks it out of the park with highly accurate tracking during gameplay even in the most intense combat situations. Whereas the Pimax Crystal Light did lose its tracking a couple of times, it is mostly when you're swinging your arms around a lot while it manages to keep it more solid during calmer simulation style games. Oh, and a feature of the Quest 3 specifically is that you have the ability to completely ditch your controllers altogether and switch to hand tracking instead. And this has also gotten a lot better over the years. Thanks to some big software updates that loses your hands much less often, as well as unlocking more precise movements when picking up and using an object. And to top it all off, Meta also has upper body tracking built into the headset directly, and this in combination with its lag estimation lets you play social VR games like VRChat in a much more engaging and realistic way. But that gets us to the screen and lenses, where the Quest 3 is making use of the new pancake lenses that provide amazing clarity and an overall big sweet spot. The Crystal Light makes use of the unique spherical lenses, which are pretty much on par regarding clarity as well as the reduction of god rays, meaning that both headsets have huge improvements over the older Fresnel lenses that were used before. But the Pimax Crystal Lite does have a much higher resolution display, making this also directly one of its main selling points. Since thanks to this, games will look a lot sharper, especially when it comes to those higher-end PC VR titles, which gets us directly to the performance. With the Quest 3 using the built-in Snapdragon XR2 Generation 2 chip, which is also known to be the cutting edge for standalone VR headsets. While on the other side, the performance of the Pimax Crystal Lite will depend completely on the PC hardware that you're using. So if you already have a powerful computer, then you can take this to absolute god levels and beyond. And that is also why we should talk about probably the most important thing when comparing VR headsets, which are the games. Since Meta has a massive library of titles on the Quest 3 that keeps growing every day. This includes some big ones, like the famous Asker's Wrath 2, that give you an open world RPG with more than 100 hours of gameplay to dive into. Or some other big titles like the highly praised Batman Arkham Shadows that came included with a lot of new VR headsets. Or maybe you prefer Assassin's Creed Nexus where you can free run throughout its cities and uncover only mysteries it has to offer. But there are also so many other highly rated games that started off as simple projects to then grow out to become one of the most popular downloaded VR games of all time. And with lots of massive exclusives still on the way, it seems like Meta won't be slowing down anytime soon and instead is going all in to acquire a lot of big VR studios as well as trying to port big franchises over to virtual reality. But the cool thing is that you can also connect your Quest 3 wirelessly to a computer so that you can also play the entire library of Steam VR games, making it a true hybrid VR headset. While the Pimax Crystal Lite is a PC VR headset only, that means you will have access to the Steam VR games but not the standalone titles of 
the Quest 3, but since it uses a display port, the quality of the PC VR games, like Half-Life Alex for example, will look a lot better on it. And that is amplified by the higher resolution display that it uses, which now lets you see much more details and also really make those graphics pop on your screen. The same goes for some other big games like Boneworks that is heavily focused on its realism and physics based combat, to the more action packed Blade and Sorcery, since these really feel like they come to life on such high resolution screens. Even so much that it sometimes is hard to go back to once you get a taste of what VR can look like, especially if you also love some VR simulator games that require some serious horsepower to run smoothly. Oh, and if you've made it into the video so far and you love VR, then hitting that like button down below would be a great help to get this out to more people. But another big difference is regarding the battery, of course, since the Quest 3 can run about two and a half hours on a single charge, while the Crystal Light won't have to be charged at all, but instead is always connected by a cable to your computer, meaning this can really limit you in your movement while you're using it in VR. While on the other hand, the Quest 3 will run out of juice if you're playing some higher end PC games for a while. So in this case, each headset has their own trade-offs. But this is luckily not the case when we look at the audio, because both of them have some really nice integrated speakers, as well as a headphone jack so even if you use wired headphones you can use them on both but probably one of the major features of the quest 3 that isn't present in the crystal light is when we look at the mixed reality since thanks to the outside cameras on quest 3 it can now display your real life environment in full color while also letting you interact with these screens in front of you while you're at it and this can be great for multitasking in combination with the hand tracking feature or it can also be used for gaming where the objects will be displayed around you and with the big announcement of meta saying that they will give access to to these outside cameras to developers, we can also expect a lot more games and apps to be made specifically with mixed reality in mind. But that gets us probably to the biggest difference of all, which is the price. Since the Meta Quest 3 comes in at a total of $500 while including a whopping 512 gigabytes of storage. And the Pimax Crystal Lite comes in at a higher price tag of $900 while also giving you the option to get it without controllers for a reduced price of $800 total, in case you have those bad boys already laying around. Oh, and of of course, there are links to both these headsets in the description below, which can give you some nice discounts, so make sure not to miss out on that. But that gets us to the final conclusion. The Meta Quest 3 and the Pimax Crystal Lite each have their own pros and cons, where on one side, the Quest 3 is an affordable standalone VR headset with a massive gaming library, as well as the possibility to use mixed reality or to even play Steam VR games wirelessly when connected to a computer. The Pimax Crystal Lite, on the other hand, is a PC VR headset specifically that while being always tethered does give you a massive jump in resolution and field of view that can be perfect for those who love to play some high-end simulation games. But that's not all, because if you want to see a more detailed review on the Meta Quest 3, then click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out. And of course, stay awesome.